Hey guys, so I put a video up last night of my new cannon, which is behind this door, and it stacks 100 sand, busts out 30 slabs, and hybrids a wall all in one shot. I can um, show it again just as a demo for anybody who missed that video. Okay, so we've got um, the walls blown up, the sand stacked, and all the slabs are gone. So here's how it works. Um, you have a regular hammer down, which is this. And this TNT fires in, the piston pushes it in, and that is exactly the same as a normal cannon. Um, the addition is this. This um, little baby hammer, I suppose you want to call it, is what busts the slabs. So it busts 30 slabs and I think there's actually 30 dispensers here. It's on a one to one sort of ratio. Um, the difference is, as you can see, we've got four comparators here. And the way that Minecraft calculates the ticks on comparators is different to how it calculates the ticks on repeaters. So as we count through the repeaters to the hammer, we've got one tick, two, three, four, five, and then six total and if we count through for this hammer we've got one two three four five six total but these six even though to us it's six ticks to the game it's six ticks at a slightly different time to the repeater ticks and that's what enables this TNT to get all the way to the ground slightly ahead of the sand I'm not entirely sure how it works, um, but it's how Minecraft works. Um, this switch turns this piston off. This sand is what does the one shot. Um, so this falls into a, a cobweb here. The sand for actually stacking loads here and flies in and lands here. And this is one block below. So that when this goes in, it's below the hammer. So the hammer TNT and also the slab bus TNT are both the slab bus TNT is the lowest it comes in on this slab then this sand comes in on this slab also low but slightly um, above because of the timing and when it pushes these are all under the hammer TNT so that forces it down the one shot sand goes in higher but at the same time and the bottom row of this hammer, you see that's got the extra four ticks. These are the 20 pieces of TNT which one shot the wall. Um, I'll probably do a how to build this because it is really complicated at first. And then once you figure it out, it's very, very easy. Um, so I guess... I'll do a video on the sand system if anybody needs it, although it's pretty basic and everybody's using this sort of sand system now. And this is just a hammer down, only it's timed with comparators, not repeaters. And I just take it off this upper arm. I'm not happy with how this wires right now. So, um, the main booster's here, and then just one tick behind it is this hammer booster. I think I can get it tidier through this corner or possibly even have a powered block here so I can go in a straight line just to make it a bit cleaner but for right now that's why oh and this piece of redstone here is irrelevant this was a um, leftover from a previous design um, okay so I'll call this part one and if anyone needs any help, I'll probably do the sand as part two. Uh, this hammer is a part three. And then if the whole entire cannon needs to be done, I'll do this a part four. But that'll be quite a long video because it's quite a big uh, hammer and quite a big cannon. Okay, so um, thanks. Let me know how you get on with this. And um, yeah, comments as always, and I'll try and reply.